Science is one of my favorite things in the whole world, and something I love about it is that sometimes you get results that you totally did not expect. That's why I think this experiment is so especially fun. Because in it, I am going to make a bubble that is shaped like a cube. The trick depends on something engineers and scientists think about all the time. But before we get into the explanation, how do you think we're going to create a square bubble? Making predictions is important for scientists, so before I show you how this activity works, take a second to write your prediction down. To do this experiment, you'll need the square bubble set and a pipette from your kit. You also need a bunch of homemade bubble solution and a bowl and some scissors. If you want to learn how to make your own bubble solution, you can check out another one of our videos. First, using the scissors, cut the end off of your pipette bulb to make a bubble wand. Next, build your square bubble set, which I have already done. Look at this beautiful thing. They say it's a square bubble set, but it is more of a cube bubble set, I would say three-dimensional square and all. Once it's built, you can put your cube into a bowl and then fill that bowl with the bubble solution. It's ideal if you can make sure the cube is entirely covered. Our bowl isn't big enough to do that. But we're just going to roll the cube around in here until it gets all of its sides covered in bubble. Put this over here. Good. Perfect. Let everything settle for a second. This is why we're doing this on our washcloth here, so we don't get it all over the place. Next, dip your pipette bubble wand into your leftover bubble solution, blow a bubble, and drop it through the top of your square bubble set. Oh, what happened? There's a cube inside the bubble cube. Whoop. Well, doesn't last forever. Nothing lasts forever. This goes different ways, different times you do it, but it is always quite cool. Do you have any ideas about how this might have worked? Here's the secret. Even though they're way too small for you to see, your bubble solution is made up of millions of tiny pieces called molecules. And the shape of those molecules makes them want to stick to each other and clump together. When that happens, it allows for something called surface tension, and that's the key to how bubbles work at all, and also the key to making square bubbles. Surface tension is why raindrops on leaves are so round, and why you can overfill a glass just a little bit without it spilling. Surface tension also explains why bubbles are normally spheres. When you make bubbles, the molecules in the bubble solution pull on each other to try and form the smallest shape possible. And that shape is a sphere. But the bubble in this experiment looked a lot more like a cube. That's because the soap molecules weren't just trying to stick to each other, they were also trying to stick to the film of the bubble solution on the walls of the square bubble kit. Maybe it sounds like all fun and games, but surface tension is actually really important for scientists and engineers to understand, because it tells them how certain liquids will behave in their experiments. Surface tension is even important to wildlife. For example, some insects' eggs can float on the surface of a pond because of water's surface tension. If the eggs sank, we wouldn't have as many insects, so we'd have plenty of hungry animals. The surface tension of a person's pee can even be used to tell if they have certain illnesses, like one called jaundice. This experiment just goes to show that even though bubbles look simple, there's plenty you can learn from them as well. Thanks for experimenting with me, and I hope you learned something new. If you want to learn more about the world around you, we have plenty of other science videos that cover everything from chemistry to psychology, and we also have more than 350 videos over at youtube.com slash scishowkids. Whether you're going through this kit for the first time or the hundredth, thank you! We hope you learned a lot and had a great time, and that most importantly, it's made you even more curious about the world.